Touch the like. Welcome to Tibet TV's program on Tibet support groups. Today we will discuss on Taiwan Sino Tibetan Friendship Association. To discuss, I'm joined by its president, Mr. Sun Te Pen. Sir, welcome to Tibet TV. Thank you. Yeah, I'm delayed. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, uh, uh, could you tell us about uh, Taiwan Sino Tibetan Friendship Association and when did it come into existence? Okay, thank you. Uh, the Taiwan Sino-Tibetan Friendship Association was established 2010 under uh, the inspiration of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Uh, the work of our association follows uh, the idea of His Holiness the Dalai Lama for solve the Tibet issue with a peaceful, rational, and nonviolent middle approach. Uh, namely, the purpose of our association uh, is to promote friendly relations between the Han Chinese and uh, the Tibetan people, and to advocate the middle approach of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Uh, we pay special attention to cooperation with the representative office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the CTA, namely the Central Tibetan administration in Taiwan. Uh, sir, uh, what kind of activities does your association undertake in order to promote Tibetan cause in your locality? And uh, how is the response? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have had some seminars, usually in cooperation with the representative office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the CTA in Taiwan. And uh, Especially in 2014, we have also had a Tibet film festival. Uh, we support His Holiness the Dalai Lama's middle approach. However, most Taiwanese who are interested in Tibetan political issues belong to Taiwan's independence fiction or the so called Green Camp, and they are not interested enough in the middle approach. Sir, your association focuses on a peaceful solution for the issue of Tibet based on middle way approach. So question is, how does your association work on creating awareness and understanding the middle way approach among the Chinese people in order to bridge the gap between Tibetans and Chinese? Uh, as I said above, most of Taiwanese uh, who are interested in Tibet's political issues belong to the Taiwan independence fiction or the so-called green camp and they may prefer Tibet's independence. However, after Tsai Ing-wen became Taiwan's president, Taiwan's ruling party, namely the uh, Democratic Progressive Party, neither said it supported Tibet's independence nor did it talk about the middle approach. Taiwan's Blue Camp, uh, KMT, Kuomintang supporters, and so on, might have supported the middle approach, but now there are difficulties in promoting it in Taiwan. The biggest difficulty is, of course, the CCP's refusal to neg uh, neg neg uh, negotiate with His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the CTA, uh, which makes people feel that the middle approach has no possibility of realization. Moreover, uh, we are not very clear with what kind of uh, with what kind of strategy the CTA wants to achieve the middle approach. Uh, when we held the Tibet Film Festival in 2014, we also screened films about Tibet in Hong Kong and uh, had exhibition there, which was unprecedented. However, it is of course impossible to hold such exhibition in Hong Kong now. I, su I suggest that the CTA can clearly explain his current attitude toward the middle approach and how the CTA believes that the middle approach should and should and could be realized. So let the Chinese who support the middle approach know how to promote it.
Uh, sir, as you said that your association came into existence with inspirations from His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. So could you tell us a little bit about your first audience with His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama and the reason behind founding this association? Mm -hmm. Oh, the first time I met His Holiness the Dalai Lama was in early December 1989, namely about uh, 31 years ago. Uh, at that time, His Holiness the Dalai Lama was going to Norway to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Before going to Norway, he visited Germany and gave a speech in Bonn. At, at that time, I was studying in Germany and I was one of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's audience. I have always admired His Holiness the Dalai Lama. However, the background of the establishment of sino tibet friendship associations around the world is the following. In 2008, because of the Beijing Olympic uh, controver controversy, some conflicts occurred between Han Chinese and the Tibetans. His Holiness the Dalai Lama therefore called for the establishment of Sino-Tibetan friendship association around the world to promote, uh, to promote the mutual understanding and friendly relations between Tibetans and Han Chinese. So as you are aware that uh, the U.S. government passed uh, Tibet Policy and Support Act into law, so what is your view on Tibetan Policy and Support Act of 2020 and how will this new law help Tibetan cause? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the Tibetan Policy and Support Act would make it official United States policy that the succession of Tibetan Buddhist le uh, leaders including the succession of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, be left solely to Tibetan Buddhists to decide without uh, interference from the Chinese government. The pol uh, this policy is, of course, good for Tibet, but uh, the most important thing in international politics is power. Now, because of the pandemic and uh, domestic polit uh, political conflicts in the United States, the power of the United States has declined somewhat. Uh, therefore, I hope that the United States can recover from the pandemic and the political conflicts as soon as possible, uh, so that the United States will have enough power to make this policy work. Sir, with this, we are going to end our discussion here. So I would like to thank you for joining our program. Thank you so much. Mm. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you, you too. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.